here we are in the T6 project. I've now got a rib bed fitted. We've put new wooden flooring down and we've fitted lino. Hello and welcome to part five, I think, of the van project, uh, where rain has stopped play in sunny England, unfortunately. I now have a rib, RIB, back seat and bed, and that's gonna go in the van in a little while. Between the wood and the installation, we'll get some cable from one side to the other, so that we've got the ability to put fans and lighting on both sides of the van. Keep on watching. This place is like a prison Help me make it better This is driving me crazy Help this foolish man So this is a little bit embarrassing. I can't even get in my shed anymore. It's just so busy in there. And that's the rib seat. Got to unbox that. <laughs> epic, epic unboxing. Need to get the flooring down first. Get a little bit of wiring in place. So just a quick message to a bunch of lovely people on the T6 forum. It's quite literally called t6forum.com and uh, if you want to know anything about your T6, 
this is a really good place to go and have a look. This forum is magnificent. A lot of questions get answered. The people are magnificent. They really help you. Um, and and there's uh, just a, a, a base of really good information there. So the idea of this then. Yeah, I see that. Pull bit. this yeah. now. Yeah. And that all then. Okay. And that, that, that's and the that then makes the right. seat. So using a 8mm socket, you're going to have to remove this piece of plastic, a little bit of plastic trim from underneath there because we are going to end up drilling through this cross member right here in a few different places. The other thing to note is when you're drilling um, and screwing your floor down, note there's a little screw there that pops out, so we'll probably get a bit of um, touch-up paint on that. Make sure that we don't get any rust coming through. So <coughs> this is this is where we need to go in. Back there, can you see where I'm pointing? Yeah. Okay. So what we've got to avoid? There's a brake pipe here. Yeah, we need to avoid that. And we've got to go up through the cross member. Um about there, which is about where we've calculated where we need to be and everything sort of feels about about right. So question is, have we got enough space? Yeah, okay, good. And a weld point there, we won't drill through that. Okay, we're gonna go up through here then. Right, so what we've noticed then um, is this hole that we've drilled through the cross member uh, so that goes quite a long way and um, so <laughs> we've bought a longer drill bit apparently this is a multi-purpose drill bit so hopefully we can get all the way through instead of having to drill from the top and then from the bottom and uh, on top of that Matty is gonna make we've decided to go um, threaded bar and nylocks. Uh, so we're going to cut up some of those because we can't find uh, any um, any regular bolts that are long enough. But this job is taking quite a lot longer than expected. And as you can see, it's all uh, suddenly got quite busy in there. And there's the wonderful Matthew with his Russian hat on working away. So point to note, when you're cutting up threaded rod, always leave, always put, sorry, a nut on there before you cut the rod up. And then when, uh, when you do your tidying up on the end and dome the end of the threads, at least then uh, you can use the nut to reform those threads by driving it off the rod. Little tip. Alright, so you've seen us then put down the uh, vinyl flooring with the F-Ball 44 adhesive. Now we've bolted through some uh, threaded rod. So the hole from the middle would pop out by a suspension strut. So we, uh, we've we not included a, uh, a middle bolt, um, but, uh, but all of those bolts, three of those bolts are going through the chassis cross members. So I, so I manufactured a spreader plate for the final bolt there because it pops out through the, the thin steel uh, flooring. So I thought it would be good to have a little bit of extra security for that final bolt there. And um, a, a couple of points to note then, these um, bolts are about 250 millimeters long and uh, I'm using uh, nylock, uh, nylock uh, nuts to make sure things don't rattle loose. 
So another point to note, we started drilling the first hole in an upwards direction from underneath the vehicle in order to make sure that we missed some critical features of the vehicle. Uh, and that was the brake pipe there, as you can see. So it was quite key really to make sure that, uh, that we didn't hit that. We did also have to bend that little plastic um, uh, trim clip out of the way. Anyway, I hope this has been very useful. Here's the end result. So one lever here, pull that up. Whoops. Pull this handle up here. And then you get this. And you push that handle down. Okay, and that. Okay, can come up and down. And then what you have is a bed. Oh! And boom! You got a seat. Good stuff. Okay. So. Here we are in the T6 project. I've now got a rib bed fitted. We've put new wooden flooring down and we've fitted lino. The rib bed, I think, is far better than the uh, rock and roll beds. Reason being, with the rock and roll beds, you have a headrest. Uh, that castellates into the rest of the bed that's always up and that blocks your view out the rear window the rib bed you don't have that with the rib bed you have the ability to be able to slightly angle both the front and the back and again the rock and roll bed you don't have the ability to be able to do that so if you're parked on a slight incline, you can just sort of lower the feet bit, bring the head bit up. Or if you're lying in bed with the wife and you want to read a book, you can just raise the back of the bed ever so slightly. So it gives you those sort of ergonomic postures, which is fantastic. And also the, uh, the ability to be able to uh, lift up the, the rear uh, headrest there, the rear part of the bed, uh, gives you a lot more room in the back of the van so that you can put more shopping in there or maybe a kid's bike or whatever it is. And the other benefit with the rib bed, as you can see, the seats are contoured here. Yeah, here and here. So you have that sort of contoured seat feeling, that sort of almost bucket feet ceiling, which is quite, quite nice. But as you notice just now, uh, you'll sleep on the back of the rib bed. You don't actually sleep on these bits of the rib bed. Whereas again, with the rock and roll bed, when you pull that out, you're sleeping, potentially if it's contoured, on the contoured sections of the bed, which might not be very comfortable. So you get a nice flat bed. Hard work to install. Um, it's taken a, it's, it's been a good day to install this. And um, the, uh, we, we've drilled through the cross members of the chassis so we know that the bed is on some very firm ground there in the wheel arch section here of the uh, of, of, of the van um, there wasn't a cross beam that we drilled through it was just the sheet metal plating so what I did is I made a spreader plate and um, and that just gives it a little bit more security uh, in case of something like an accident so yeah happy days we now have a bed and a seat in the back it's uh nicely installed and bolted through all of those cross members so um that should be uh should be pretty pretty safe we did um we did notice that the middle the middle bolt um pops out uh, where we've positioned this seat which i'm happy with which is is, is almost just in line uh with the beginnings of the uh, side door here um where we've positioned the seat uh, um, and, and drilled through, uh, there was a brake pipe that was pretty close. So obviously we drilled from the bottom upwards for that one. We didn't want to miss that and, and hit the brake pipe. Um, and that was our pivot point, that was our starter. We knew then that we were in the cross beam and uh, we knew uh, that if we were to bolt the bed down and just spin the bed around, 
uh, then that would give us the pattern for where to drill the other bolt holes. And then we could drill down, which is much easier than trying to drill up. Anyway, uh, thanks ever so much for watching. This is part five of the uh, T6 camper van build. Uh, we're really making some good progress. We've got some lovely carpet in here, insulation, noise damping, and now we have seats and flooring down. And uh, very soon, um, very soon, I think we'll actually be in a position to be able to take it out and have a bit of fun and do a little bit of a camping trip with it, which will be awesome. And uh, we're gonna do some, obviously there's a little bit more electrical work that we need to do and fitting lights and all that kind of stuff. So thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Give us a good old thumbs up, obviously, it's YouTube. <laughs> and obviously share this with, um, with people that are into this kind of thing. Thanks ever so much for watching again. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful weekend. Take care people, bye for now. What you doing, honey? In my car. <laughs>